Hey, all right, so I feel, boy, I feel like I'm really close. <clears throat> I'm doing the car thing today because I couldn't even wait to go do anything. So, um, it seems quiet in here. Um, I have a story today. And I just was so excited. And uh, the story, well, miracles require risk. That is the, like, my pow, wow, mic drop, poof moment this morning. Uh, miracles require risk and I don't know about you but I am so ready to see God release amazing incredible of course unbelievable miracles in my life and <laughs> lately it seems like there's been one after another after another uh, just you know even small miracles uh, happening in my life and it's just so awesome once we wait in expectation for miraculous and incredible and and more than we could possibly imagine miracles happening um anyway uh so the story i want to tell and it's a story it's in uh the book of mark in the bible mark chapter five and there is this like boom 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 like jesus is just i mean he is like laying out miracles left and right and um i was listening to uh, Lisa Harper is a speaker and I was listening to her um, I think in the middle of the night last night and she was describing how you know Jesus was known he was well known at the time and not necessarily as the Messiah but he was a well-known figure person uh, and he was known for his 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 tricks his doings uh, not necessarily called miracles so here's Jesus and um, in Mark chapter five and first, you know, he, he gets off a boat and he arrives in this place. I'm just going to like put it all like poof, poof, poof. So, um, and the first thing that happens once Jesus is, he's traveling, his purpose is to travel, to go um, heal um, a man of the synagogue's daughter. So when you are a man of the synagogue, then you are also, you know, a well, a, a prominent political figure. He's a well-known, you know, he's somebody. So Jesus is on the way to heal this man's daughter. Well, the first thing that happens, a man um, who has several demons, evil spirits in him, uh, comes up to Jesus, comes up to Jesus, and there's his risk. He comes up to Jesus and he asks Jesus to, um, to heal him from these evil spirits. And, um, you know, Jesus says, you know, come out of this man. And the story goes on. It's pretty awesome. He like it, they all the there are several of them and they they go into the pigs and the pigs jump off cliff. Anyway, this is true. Go to the book of Mark. Read it. Always full of good stories. Um, and then, um, you know, Jesus talked to him. He says, so what's your name? And the man talks to him and um, he says, you know, um, you know, to go go from go from here and, you know, tell people what happened. What happened here? Tell people tell people your story. So there's the first thing that happened. That's not the story I'm talking about though. So the next thing he's, he, he's walking to the, this man's house to heal his daughter. And there's a great crowd that's going with him. So there's all these people around him and, um, some, this woman who's been bleeding, hemorrhaging for 12 years. So the thing is she's been sick and bleeding for 12 years. And to be like that means that she is, first of all, she's a woman and we're, you know, in, in, in ancient times, <laughs> she is a woman. And, um, so she is unclean. So she's not even allowed to be in any of these social areas to be around people. Uh, and so she takes the risk of, first of all, just being in this group of people and she pushes her way through the crowd and she reaches out and she touches the hem, the tassel of Jesus garment. And instantly she was healed instantly, miraculously through the, through, through her risking being in a crowd, being seen, being, um, being caught, being identified and, uh, and risking touching this great man, touching, um, Jesus this miracle worker miracles require risk and she took the risk instantly she was healed and um 
and she knew it. She knew the moment that she touched Christ that she would be healed. So she, she had that childlike, infinite faith that as soon as she could just touch him, she would be healed and she would be whole. Woo! Mm, fire. So miracles require risk. As soon as this happened, she was healed. Jesus felt Jesus felt the power go out of him. Okay? She just she went and got it. Okay? And okay, let's bring it to current day. It is ours. As children of God, all that is his is ours. That power belongs to us already. We just have to reach out and get it. We just have to reach out and take it. Oh, I'm preaching to myself right now. So, so she reaches out for what is already hers. And he felt the power go out of him. He wasn't even a uh, act, active participant. I think that's what I want to say. She just reached out and got it with just the touch, with just the touch of a tassel. She was healed. She, she drew his power and um, he turned around and he said, who, who touched me? And of course, can you imagine this woman? She's, she is unclean she's forbidden to be in these public areas and these social activities she's a female for goodness sake um all of these things i'm sure she was all, all suddenly can you imagine like poof oh my gosh i'm sure instantly i can just imagine myself being like that little girl like oh my gosh oh no i'm in trouble now what what's gonna happen and um you know she she says that she touched him and he was like tell me your story tell me your story and I'm going to talk about that next. But he said, your faith healed you. Your faith is what healed you. And so um, miracles do require risk. This is such an awesome story for so many reasons. I am just obsessed with, um, I guess, this whole chapter, but particularly her part in the chapter of Mark 5 in the New Testament. Um Miracles require risk. She took a risk. She took many to seek out her miracle because she knew, she knew the moment that she could be near Christ, the moment that she could touch the tassel of his garment, that she would be healed. She knew that the miracle was there and that the miracle was her, hers already and that, that she was willing to take the risk to reach out and accept and to uh, withdraw the power that was already hers. The miracle was already hers. Oh, that's so exciting. Miracles require risk. I want miracles. I want miracles. And um, I, I, I'm gonna write a few things down that I want miracles. You know, it's always I write things down, right? They always tell, write, write, write down your dreams, write down your goals, write down your steps for the day, write down the miracles that you would like to see happening around you. And then just, just stand in faith and in confidence and reach out and accept the miracles that Christ has for you. So I hope everybody has a great day. I hope, I know I got a couple of amen sisters in there. So I hope somebody got an amen sister. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to y'all soon.